Hi, Sarah Smith here from eTherapy, bringing you our teletherapy activity of the week. Have you checked out Bitmoji virtual classrooms? Well, if you haven't, get ready because this is super fun. It's a really dynamic way to engage your online students, and it's actually quite easy and super fun to do. It's a way to create a virtual room that you and your students can interact with throughout your online sessions. The first thing you need to do is download the Bitmoji app that will download on your phone. Then you can have some fun creating your own personal avatar with whatever style you choose. Then go to the Bitmoji site at bitmoji.com and click to add the Bitmoji extension to your Google Chrome browser. Once added, you'll see the Bitmoji icon in your browser when using Chrome. This is where you can access your avatar to add to your Bitmoji room. You can create your own virtual room from scratch by building a room in Google Slides if you would like. Simply open a new Google Slide document in your Google Drive account to get started. You'll have a blank document and you can delete the text boxes too so that you have a completely blank slate. Then select to insert an image. Click to search the web and there you can type in any variety of keywords such as background images. Then search for any type of item to place into your virtual room. A useful tip here is to use the word transparent when searching. That way you will get images that will layer nicely into your design. You can even add a text box and type a message in your room. And you can continue to find fun items to decorate and fill the space. You can resize and move the items around your room. And you can even change the color by clicking on the object, then select Format Options and Recolor. You can also add your Bitmoji avatar to the room by clicking on the icon and dragging and dropping the avatar of your choice into the space. Now you're ready to make your room interactive. For example, if you're planning to do a story activity with your student, you could include an icon for a book or an actual screen capture of the book image. Then make that image clickable with a link to the online story. Simply go to the online story site you want to use, such as Epic Books seen here, copy the URL or link for the book, then on your Bitmoji room, click the book image, select insert link and paste the URL here. Now, when you share your virtual room on the screen, either you or the student can click directly on the book and it will take you to the online story site. You can continue to add more decorations and links to your Bitmoji room and fill it with lots of fun items and links to online activities. If you don't want to start a room from scratch, you can use a template to get started, such as the eTherapy template seen here. You can make a copy of the template for your own use and can easily click to remove the avatar and place your own. We have templates to suit various disciplines such as speech, OT, PT, and counseling. For example, here is a speech and language room. You can click to present the document on your computer when screen sharing with the student. Then you and your student can explore the room to find that it is full of interactive links. For example, if you click on the board, you will go to a free All About Me worksheet that you can complete with your students. Click on Mr. Potato Head to go to an interactive potato head game that you can play with your students on the screen. Or you could go to the newspaper to check out a kid's news site for comprehension and language practice. A click on the globe lets you view live animal cams from around the world that you can use for descriptive language, vocabulary, and articulation carryover. The room is full of interactive objects to engage your students and target goals. So feel free to use our eTherapy virtual room templates. You can make a copy of the template and can edit and change any of the items or links to really customize it for your student. Or simply copy the eTherapy room and use it as is. It's up to you. Virtual rooms like this are a great teletherapy tool to keep your students actively engaged and learning. This activity fun tip is brought to you by eTherapy, a teletherapy company leading the way for therapists.